Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm Ramble Gaming, the home of the gaming. And did you know that there are millions of bad levels in Super Mario Maker 2? I know! Crazy, right? In fact, it's so easy to make bad levels in this game that even the people at Nintendo themselves have created and uploaded some awful levels to the chorus world. It's actually kind of funny how bad some of these official levels get, because if I'm going to be honest, most of them seriously do not feel like they were made by Nintendo at all. Yeah, I know it's pretty bad. So today, just to show y'all how awful these courses can get, I'm going to be ranking the top 5 worst official levels in Super Mario Maker 2. Let's get started, shall we? Alright, so most of these official levels are on this list because their level design is extremely uninspired and basic, and this is most certainly the case with Wacky Waters, number 5 on our list. I mean, sure, the fish sculptures in this course are kinda cool to look at, but the entire rest of the level itself is just so dull and simple. At the start of Wacky Waters, you're immediately spanned with spinies, but you can just swim over them so they don't really serve any purpose at all. From there on, you can choose to continue going straight and have to deal with more enemy spam and swimming, or you could just damage boost above those rooms and literally skip that whole entire section of the level. That sure is good level design, am I right? And after you get through all of that and reach the checkpoint, the whole rest of the level is even easier and more lazily designed. I mean literally, the last screen of this level is legit completely empty. And then there's the goal, just sitting there. Like are you kidding me? There is literally nothing in this entire screen of the level right before the goal. If that isn't the definition of lazy level design, then I don't know what is. Even though the gimmick behind this level is kind of cool, Rhythm of the Shell is completely unfair to the player and ends up being a borderline troll course, reasons why I find it to be one of the worst official levels out of them all. Plus, for a course called Rhythm of the Shell, you spend 90% of this level not using shells, which is pretty dang funny, I must admit. The starter level is solid, I will give it that, albeit a tad bit frustrating. You're required to throw a shell to repeatedly hit it on off switch so you can jump on constantly changing on off blocks and such pretty standard stuff. It's not until after you reach the checkpoint that this level truly begins to show its fangs. And man, are those fangs ugly. Literally the first jump out of the pit with the checkpoint has 5 hidden thwomps above it waiting to crush the player. So if you jump just a bit too high, boom, you're instantly dead from thwomps that you couldn't even see. Awesome! In fact, that one frustrating troll is a great representation of the entire rest of the section, as you'll be repeatedly dying to so many other unfairly designed traps like this one. Because of these traps, this level is just really not fun, and it repeatedly kills the player with enemies they couldn't have expected. Because of this, the rhythm of the shell is simply just a bad level, and definitely one of the worst out of all the official levels in Course World. Just like Wacky Waters, Dakota's Frozen Flames is an incredibly simple and basic course, except it's even shorter and even easier than the former. This entire level honestly just feels so lifeless. It has almost nothing going for it. You start out the level by going up a hill, and then traverse over some ice platforms, go down a hill, go on a pipe, ride a slow as heck school raft, watch as the boom boom that you could fight just kills itself, and then run on huge letters that spell R.E.S. At least, I think that's supposed to be an A. The last time I tried to read letters in a Mario Maker level really didn't work out that well. If I had to give this level one compliment, it's that it at least visually looks nice. That's about it though. Everything else here is dull as heck, and it has an extremely stupid ending as well, where the player is spammed with burners that you'll probably be better off boosting through rather than avoiding. To me, this is the most dull and forgettable official level that Nintendo has made. And that's what gets it the number 3 spot on this list. Oh hey guys, it's us, Nintendo Minute! We made a really cool and really fun 50 second auto scroll level, 
Isn't that cool? That's really cool! It's not like this level isn't fun. It's not like we just made a straight lines and ground and randomly placed in enemies. It's not like we troll players right at the start by placing down a line of coins that lead to a big wall that you can't get over. No, we didn't do that. I mean, just look at how fun this level is. Oh wow, NM. That like stands for a Nintendo Minute. Oh wow, that's really cool. Oh hey look guys, that's the whole level. What a fun course. And remember guys, Nintendo Minute is never a minute. <laughs> okay, to be fair, I really <laughs> shouldn't be crapping on Nintendo Minute this much. Because as bad as this level is, they did show off one of my own levels in one of their own videos. So, yeah. Uh, whoops. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs>this course is absolute garbage. It's incredibly bad. It's spammy, trolly, and overall it's just so badly designed. I legit have no idea how this was allowed to be published as an official course. Let me go ahead and list off some of the incredibly awful things about this level. You ready? Alright sweet, let's go. Troll blocks, spammed enemies. Awful, super tight, and frustrating platforming. Legitimate trolls meant to damage the player, spammed sound effects, and one of the worst finishes to a level that I've ever seen. I mean, just look at this bro. This is disgusting. This is awful in every way. I seriously don't understand how this section was even allowed in this course. It is horrendously spammy and absolutely terrible. And you know, in fact, that kind of applies to the rest of this level as well. So yeah, as it can be easily seen from just the footage itself, a run with the fish is without a shadow of a doubt the worst official level in Super Mario Maker 2. If I could kill it, I would, but I legally can't. But I've considered it. Hey y'all, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to get notified for all the videos to come. And hey, if you want to go check out any of my other Mario Maker rankings, you can do so by clicking on either of the video cards on screen right now. Go ahead, I think you'll like them. Anyways, y'all, with that said, Brailable Gaming, over and out.